and becomes the consistent. So they, they have the referendum that can change it. They can amend the rules. Okay. So what the scripture is saying that we should not have a thought For of tomorrow, tomorrow, it means that you have to first mm. be in this kingdom okay. by way of receiving Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Mm. Then you have qualified to enter into this country. You are under a kingship. Okay. You are under the Lord. Mm. So by so doing, he takes over your affairs. Mm. That is said that even the birds have no farm. Okay. They have no work, but they eat. Mm. It, when you are in, king, like in the kingdom, I, the king, it is my responsibility to provide for you. Okay. But when you are not in the kingdom, mm. you provide for yourself. Okay. You pay tax too to the mm. government. Mm. But in this kingdom, you don't pay tax. I take care of you. Okay. Then you take my words. Okay. It's my word that governs the territory. Okay. Okay, so the misconception by saying don't go to school, don't acquire anything because you will die, it is a, a clear uh, insult to Christ. Okay. Because you are not yet found yourself in the kingdom. And you are, you are now working with kingdom principles. It has not worked that way. Okay. You need to be in the kingdom and the principles to work. Okay. So you have to first be in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to first accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior mm -hmm. and begin to work by His word. Okay. By going for the lost souls okay. to bring them to the kingdom as well. If you are doing that, he takes care of your, your needs. Okay. Okay. Once okay. we need the word for him, okay. he also wins you for okay. the word. Okay. I mean he gives the word to you. Okay. So you have dominion over the word. Okay. Thank you. So uh, Minister, uh, man of God, the same question comes to you. Should all our future ambitions on this earth, I want to go to school. I want to be this, I want to be that. Should all of them take a back seat? Not thinking about tomorrow. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Interesting. It's an interesting story. Yeah. Uh, you see, the Bible says, he that do not work, yes. should not eat. Okay. And you are living in this world, and you say you won't work. Work. So, if you don't work, how will you eat? Okay. Four. Four. He was he, he he was a learned man. Okay. He went to school. You, you don't want to go to school. Mm -hmm. So these are things that the word is using as a, 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 a deception. Okay. You see, they are using it to demean the Christianity religion. Okay. You see. But the Bible is the life of a Christian. The Bible okay. is, how do you call it, the manual mm. of. And so I have not seen in the Bible where it says that we shouldn't work. Okay. Unless there is another Bible. Mm. But the Bible says we should work diligently. Okay. We should be the people who should even be rich. Mm. When we talk about rich men. Mm. Christians belong to the kingdom that is that have everything. Okay. So we should rather be rich. So if somebody says that Christians should not work, mm. I, I believe they didn't say Christians. Mm. But if they are saying Christians, then I didn't see it in the Bible. Okay. So okay. It's, it's a it's a deception. Okay. It's a deception. It's a deception. Now mm. I want to I want to say something about okay. the scripture. Mm. The story that we read. Okay. You know, this man who was asking Jesus Christ mm. to help him or uh, to help him talk to, to the brother to the divide. Brother to, to, to divide inheritance. To, yes. But you, this man, you know, I'm sure he knows by the Jewish law mm. that it is the firstborn who shares it. Yes. And in fact, the firstborn actually has double. Okay. So why are you coming for Jesus? Are you bringing Jesus into this situation, a situation that he sees it as trivia? And okay. in fact, Jesus Christ is a very interesting man. He realized that he rather addressed the root of the issue. Okay. Well, he saw this man as somebody who has got some mind. Mm. Either he's, he's, he's after possession. Okay. You see, so let us be careful. We do not drive into 
the, the word issues mm. where they say things okay. and we follow. Okay. The Bible is there. If it is not in the Bible, mm -hmm. then I cannot decide. We should but take we should have a second thought. Well, I don't know. Mm. But I I think that if it is not in the Bible, then it's another matter. Okay. But once it's in the Bible, we are we are blind to go by it. Exactly. Yes. But the why not in the Bible? <laughs> Well, Maybe I, it's a choice. Yes. I cannot tell you to go and do it or do it. But the Bible is there okay. to guide all of us. And mm. I believe that the Bible contains everything. Okay. If there is anything that is not in the Bible, mm. I am not aware. Okay. So that is what I can say. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so you are still live on, on, on the scroll. It is about the kingdom of heaven. And the question I just asked our, our, our men of God was, was that, should all our future plans and ambitions take a back seat because we are seeking after the kingdom of heaven? And they have answered us. It's so clear that, yes, work. You should work. You should save. You should go to school. Do all the things you have to do to survive on this earth. But you should have Jesus. You should have the kingdom first. Before you are doing that work, do you have Christ? Before you are going to that school, do you have Christ? It's Christ at the center of your life. That is the, 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 the issue. That is all we are talking about. So, yes, you don't put the kingdom aside and put all your focus on what you want to achieve in this life. So this rich fool was or it's a typical example of one who disregards the kingdom and thinks that, oh, all that his soul needs is to just eat of what he has been able to produce. And it is, it is a very foolish idea or activity for him to embark on. And Christ condemns that. So it is about we having the kingdom first. And then all other things are going to work out. Then uh, <laughs> take note of those of you who have been saying, oh, if you get money today, eat all today. Because uh, if you die tomorrow, somebody will come and eat it. The Bible says that a wise man lives in inheritance for his children. See, you have to leave something for your children. And if you don't work, you cannot live an inheritance. So it's very important for us. Oh, we are we are want to draw the curtains on this on this uh, on these kingdom issues. But if you have other things that I didn't give you the chance to say it, you are going to say it. But before you add it to your your yours, you say yours. I want to ask this question, both of you. What is the purpose of this message, of this parable? Finally, uh, Pastor Kingsford. I think it's just to unveil the mystery and the hidden truth behind the misconception and the deceptiveness of uh, this kingdom thing mm -hmm. and the misconception of we not having a thought of tomorrow because tomorrow can provide mm. itself mm. or we do not think of what to wear what to eat in a way of misunderstanding what jesus christ is trying to teach us now if you read carefully the book of matthew 12 28 bible said but if I cast out devil mm. by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God mm. is come unto you. Okay. But then after Jesus Christ heals someone, and they are trying to say that he healed the person by the spirit of visible. Yeah. So he's saying that if the spirit of God is what I use, mm. it means that the kingdom of God is at hand. Okay. So what Christ is trying to emphasize there is that when you seek the kingdom of God, you mm. sought after the things of God. You do okay. what God wants you to do. Okay. You heal the sick. Mm -hmm. You set the captives free. Mm. You do good to those who are in need. Okay. So, basically, if you are a Christian, anytime you, you come across the word kingdom, it is to say that we are rediscovering what we lost in the Garden of Eden. Okay. So that we possess our possession. Okay. So that we go for the, the lost world and bring them to the light that we have seen. We are living by mm. so that we will not leave the world in the dark so that they will intend they will end up stealing our goods they, they will they will tend not going to uh, prisons and doing all going to all manner of life okay so when we serve the world the world will be good for god okay. so come, in, in the coming of jesus christ second time okay. we meet us uh, prepared souls mm. that you can pick them to live with him uh, in, in the heaven okay. so i think the kingdom misconception is what okay. we are trying to unfold okay. to die so that we all know what Jesus okay. Christ means by the teachings on the kingdom of God. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, yes, man of God, finally, what is the purpose to you? 
Yes, um, from the scripture, uh, what I can deduce is the fact that Jesus Christ mm. is telling us that real life, mm. if you want real life, mm. it doesn't come as a result of how much possession you have. You have on this earth, yes. earthly possession. Yes, every possession mm. and success. Success is not determined by the possession. Okay. Okay. He wants us to understand that, look, there is more than what we eat, we mm. drink, or we wear. Okay. There is more. Mm. There is more than that. And so, we should be careful. Okay. Whatever we are doing, mm. we should be content. Okay. We should be content with what we have. Mm. And then also, he is also trying to tell us, that whatever we have mm. is not for us alone. Mm. Okay. Every possession you have. In fact, we are only stewards. Mm. We are mm. not owners. Mm. We are only stewards. We are just in charge for, for some time. Okay. And so we should be very careful when we want to get everything. He frowns on that. Mm. And so Jesus Christ is telling us that, look, look for me. When you look for me, I will take care of you. Okay. Look for me. Look for me. And I will take care of and you. Care Fantastic. Of you. Yes. Uh, my wonderful viewers, it's been a very, very interesting time in the face of God and online. Um, Jesus Christ's statement is confirmed when you die. It's confirmed when you die. Because we are working and we are still dying. We are wearing all the modern clothes and we are still dying. We are getting all the monies. We are still dying. So real life is not in earthly possessions. In the scripture we read, you realize that Jesus said that the man was rich, but he was not rich in God. He was only rich on the earth, but with God he was not rich. So choose that which you would want to take. To be rich in God or be rich on the earth. If you are rich on the earth, you are going to perish. But if you are rich in God, then you have life eternal. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It is there for you. Look for it. Have it. Keep it with you until Christ returns. Once saved, forever saved, is applied to those who will not relent on their faith until the second coming of Jesus. If you leave your faith, then you were saved yesterday. But you will lose it today because you left the faith. God bless all of you. The men of God will be praying. I want to call Pastor Kingsford to pray with us. Then we'll draw the curtains for today. I want to thank you out there, our viewers, our cherished viewers, for watching us tonight. You have been a blessing unto us. We thank you so much for your time. We are praying. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you for the opportunity given unto us tonight. To hear your word which is come to heal us to set us free from every life affliction lord we've learned about the kingdom where you prepared for us where you rule as the king of the glory the king of kings the king that settles all matters we have discovered tonight that life without christ is full of crisis mm. therefore tonight oh god let every viewer lord let everyone that have heard of this teaching lord touch the heart lord god let the mysteries be unfold to the person god we speak to the dark world there lord let this kingdom let this kingdom thought and kingdom understanding bring light to their darker world in the name of jesus mm -hmm. we speak into their lives whoever whatever i bring for that them oh god by virtue of tonight's encounter we speak life into their system jesus. in the name of jesus we commit every viewer into your hands god lord tell them tonight and be a blessing unto them we commit the tv the most tv into your hands oh god be a blessing unto us oh god lord bring sponsors our way god let our viewers god be a blessing from today and forever in jesus mighty name Thank you, God Almighty, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, thank you very much, Minister Theophilus, for coming. We are grateful 
for agreeing to come for the second time. It's been great with you. Pastor Kingsford, thank you for letting go of all your very important issues and coming to attend to the kingdom business. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you don't have Jesus, look for a Bible-believing church. Run into it and say, I want to accept Jesus. You won't have to pay any amount for that. It's free. Do it now and you are safe forever. If you already have Christ, hold him. Don't leave him. He will come again. See you next week. And he said